Good morning, folks. Today we've got to check out a major typhoon, water temperatures in the North Atlantic, a story about magnetic fields across the universe, and the preparation for what will hopefully be a meaningful change to the next climate models. But we are starting with our star. The last 24 hours was relatively quiet, minor flares, a minor CME that may or may not be aimed our way, and the weak CME we had expected appears to have hit weekly yesterday causing no concern or geomagnetic activity. Sunspots have been tremendously quiet given their population and apparent magnetic complexity, and we obviously have more coming from the limb and just over on the far side today. It's been quite the benign sunspot maximum so far, but the 5.9 month cycle uptick is expected this month. Up next, this major typhoon has caused considerable damage to the islands between Japan and Taiwan, and instead of continuing northward towards China, it's expected to bend eastward and head back towards the Pacific. We'll keep eyes on it to see if it bends north again towards Japan. Interesting study here about the North Atlantic cold blob. They say the positive phase of the North Atlantic Oscillation is becoming more prevalent, and it's helping that blob stay colder. Of course, when the Beaufort Gyre does its major release, that's going to get amplified in a major way. Major winter storms on deck for the Northern Hemisphere because of it. Good analysis up next confirming that turbulent plasma in space can spawn magnetic fields, which is a key component of recognizing the magnetic universe ideas. These fields are still underappreciated at galactic cluster and individual galaxy scales, and instead the credit is still given to dark matter. But let's shift baby step by baby step. Last but not least, folks, we're getting ready for CMIP7, the next iteration of climate models. In this one, they are claiming that the need to better grasp the particle impact is paramount, we agree, including the effect on ozone destruction. There are about 50 other things they eventually need to add on top of that, but this would be a good first step in correcting a significant model issue and giving due credit to the sun for its impact, we can hope, but remain skeptical given the political propaganda paradigm. We greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.